Excuse me, sir. I believe you mean news. No! I mean news! For Hello and welcome to Warehouse and Logistics Simulator. It's a game where, I'm, I'm, from from what I understand, you you just drive a forklift. Uh, so this is the main menu. Uh, looks like a department store of some kind. There's different modes here I can play. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna start game though. I have not played this game yet. There's this game and there's also a DLC, uh, which I will show to you in a little bit. But for now, let's just uh, start the game and see where it takes us. Looks like there's different locations. This one's locked, so we can only start at the department store right now. So let's see how that goes. Okay, there are in aisle 2A pallets that are ready for an order. With the specified time, bring the respective pallets to the locations in the parking lot. Try not to damage the goods while driving, otherwise you will lose points. Good luck. Alright. Oh, okay, so I'm in the forklift now. Uh, absolutely no instructions so far. Okay, so, looks like here's just a customer. I Sir, oh, there's actually a lot of customers here. Okay, let me just uh, get by you real quick. Oh, okay, you're gonna go the other way. If I think if I shit, I think if I run him over, can I not reverse? Oh, I can. Okay, it just takes a long time to I guess switch. So, Jesus, what? Just reverse. I think if I hit that person, I will lose points. I'm not really sure. I, I just want to test it out to see what happens. I also think there's a lot of uh, codes and violations I would be breaking if this was an actual scenario in real life where I hit a customer. At the same time, I'm pretty sure there's like somebody that has to walk in front of you with like flags. Okay, I didn't even- nothing happened there. Okay, so what if- Oh, okay, so these are- actually it looks like I'm inside of a, a ghost department store where the forklift just phases through people uh, because they're part of some other dimension. Is it a police officer down there? No, normally like in Home Depot, uh, which is a, a big warehouse here for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about. It sells lumber and different tools for carpenters, I guess. Uh, there's usually people that walk in front of the uh, machines with flags and they literally block off aisles um, if they have to get something from a top shelf uh, using a device such as a forklift. So I, I guess I have to go over here or is this the drop off lot? Okay, this looks like the, the place where I drop the red onto the blue. Um, it seemingly... That's that's as much as information as I'm gonna get for right now. Uh, because, again, there's no tutorial or anything. I'm just kinda going off my uh, instincts of driving forklifts and some dream I had at some point. So this this dude definitely looks like a cop. He's like rocking like uh, the badge and everything. A lot of these customers look confused, like they don't belong here. Which I totally agree with them. Uh, you guys do not belong here. You're all ghosts. You need to go back to the graveyard. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of department store this is, and I went the wrong aisle. Great. All right. Well, um, guess I'll just go around. Guess I'll go around the aisle and try not to uh, hit anyone, even though it's not really a concern at the moment. There's a sailor. There's a percent sailor for minus 10 percent for something, and it's 7.95. Wow, that's a sounds like a great deal. There's backpacks here. There's some, um, there's a suitcase. I, this is a traveling aisle. Cool. With laptops, I think? I'm not really sure what this is. Okay, so I think I got the box here. And it moves when you touch it. What do I do with the box? The hell do I, Oh, I have to- Oh, okay, I see. So my- Alright, this is- This is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Maybe not. Okay. So, let's just move. Excuse me, sir! Sir! Can you not- Can you not go through my forklift while I'm- you're fucking blocking my view right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to line this thing up. Okay, easy, easy as she goes. All right, all right. Did I get it? All right, got it. Now, um, what the hell do I do from here? Do I have any buttons? Okay, Q and E don't work. R T F V B N M Z X C A. No, it, it's turning. Um. Spacebar, control, alt, tab, uh, semicolon, left bracket, right bracket, backspace. Oh, what the fuck? What? What was that? What is that? <laughs> no. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Did I just lose? Did I lose? I feel like I lost. Yeah. Oh, what? It just blew up. 
What? What does what does ba what does backspace do? Backspace just deletes it from the universe. Is that? All right, I have one more idea. Does it sound like this is like an airplane going over the department store? This is taking me like five minutes. I still can't. I still can't do this. All right, let's let's not press backspace this time because seemingly it looks like the the destruction button. Um, let me try out. Uh, how about plus and minus? No. Arrow. Okay, arrow key. Arrow key works. All right. Glad uh, glad I had instructions for that. And I'm starting to um, be better at driving. I think. Maybe, maybe not, probably not. Um, okay, so this is the computer slash travel aisle slash camping aisle, uh, looks like. I kinda wanna see what other aisles are- oh, a per the pedestrian's not too happy with- Why- what is this? They're both cross-armed, like, uh, they're watching me. They're judging me right now. These ghosts do not like what I'm doing. Does the clock can move, by the way? I'm just wondering. Or am I stuck in an alternate universe where time doesn't exist? Uh, looks like it. Uh, more boxes. Looks like Miracle Grow and plant fodder. If that's even a thing. Somebody left their shopping cart out here. Okay. Is this a thing where I literally have to go out the front entrance, like, with a big box? Alright. Whatever. I'm up for the challenge. Lots of cars out here. How'd you guys get in here? Is there a... Is there an entrance to this parking lot? Because it doesn't seem like it. Okay, I get maybe they're flying cars and it's the future or something. Let me, let me, let me, let me line this up perfectly like this. There we go. Did I do it? Did I, yes, I did it. A thousand points. Good job, me. A thousand points. I'm backing into this car. I hope he has good insurance. Because I sure as hell am not paying for it. I'm not even sure what the purpose of that was. Maybe some person's gonna like haul it out afterwards or something. Hey, what are those? Are those shopping carts? They don't look like it. Oh, they're like trolleys. Well, not- Hold on. Not trolleys, but, um... The excess load carts, where you, like, literally put... Like, a hundred things that you probably... Should have ordered online. Instead of going to the store to pick it up, and then you get to try to, like... Shove it into your sedan. Your two-seater sedan vehicle, and you realize that you can't do it, so you try to strap it on the roof of your car. Uh, before you realize that you haven't- Don't have it strapped on right, and you get pulled over by a police officer because he notices that your strap is falling off and he writes you off a, a ticket for putting everybody on the road at hazard. This guy's wearing a hard hat. That means he's a boss. Sir, you're at the right place if you're shopping for your home good needs. Ah, oh, come on. Just turn. I think you're at the right place at least. There's like buckets and stuff here. This is, uh, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be, honestly. Uh, I didn't think driving a shopping car, or not a shopping car, a forklift. An oversized shopping cart would be this hard. So let me just get it in there using my arrow keys. And it's like falling off there. Is that dangerous? It seems like it. Ma'am, excuse me. This is dangerous stuff going on here. You could just, yeah, exactly. Please move out of the way. I wish I had like a little horn on here. That would be a little bit more productive, I think. Maybe people would scatter. I still want to like, I, I'm going down the same aisle and it's kind of annoying. Um, I want to check out the other aisles because there's look, looks like there's like something down there. I don't even know what the hell is down there. All right, making my way out with this box filled with stuff. I have no idea the holdings of this box, but this is obviously very important because they needed a forklift to come out here and deliver it to the parking lot, where surely somebody will steal it once they see me drive off. Let me just put it down here and in the parking spot of of a car. I'll just put it there. Oh, you have successfully completed the task, and I got that many points. Wow. I've unlocked, uh, I've unlocked the high bay warehouse section. Okay, so this time the interest pilots have arrived in the specified time, bring the respective pilots to the locations, trying to damage the goods while driving, otherwise you will lose points. Oh, snap. It's having me now do more work. I wonder if people have to play the simulator before they like actually do the job because if they do uh, I'm pretty sure that oh no after you <laughs> no after you no I just work here you can treat me like shit just uh, all right you're going that way all right well yeah I was gonna say it seems like uh, you're pretty much breaking all the safety rules um, so I'm not really sure what the point of this is other than to be like 
Uh, you know, I've always wanted to dr Oh, sh snap! You know, I've always wanted to drive a forklift. Uh, and I, I really don't care about safety standards and, uh, livelihood of other people, so I don't really care how I drive the forklift as long as I just get to press a couple buttons. And I also don't want the game to tell me which buttons to press. Oh, so there's wine here. It's like dog food or something? More unidentifiable boxes. Maybe it's just a box aisle. So this is the grocery aisle. Where you can just have perishables. Just cans of food. Uh, interesting. There's some sodas here. So this is obviously like a wholesale department store where like they just, you know, buy, you kind of buy in bulk. And over here, just conveniently in this section is, is just where the tools are left out. Alright, we're gonna have to talk about, oh snap, you know what? Ah. Okay, so this is the loading bay. Um, interesting. That the loading bay is just over here randomly, but, you know, by all means. I mean, okay. Uh, oh my god! Just, come on. Alright, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Am I gonna be stuck like, I'm literally stuck. I'm li I'm literally stuck. All right, there we go. I had to reverse my way out of there, but it's uh, it's bringing in easy this time. Bringing in easy like so. All right, just a little bit, little, little bit, little bit of tap, a little bit, little bit of tap, like 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 a like a like a, like a, like a light tap. And there we go. We got it. My arrow buttons. Uh, okay, now my arrow buttons are working. All right, just uh, let's just bring this bad boy out. I got no mirrors, no mirrors. Just uh, again using my instincts. Instinctual instincts to drive this thing. All right, all right. Oh my, uh, hope my boss doesn't come out and see this. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, what the hell? All right, can I just? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a thing. This is a thing. All right. All right, we get out of there. We get out of there. So this is just like <laughs> the lockers here for employees. There's a workbench here. Seems interesting. Uh, what is this? The meat aisle. So this is meats. Get some frozen foods. This guy is contemplating what he's gonna buy here. All on sale, sir. All on sale or sailor. It's all on uh, all on sailor minus 10%. 795 for everything here. Everything in the store. 795. This is the 79 7 795 79 store. 90210. Some cereal boxes here. Shopping cart. All right, again making my oh shit. Oh wait. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong my bad I went the wrong way All right, I was almost gonna go outside, but then I realized I have to stock the shelves. How could I forget? This is the ATM over here Vending machine a giant printer uh, Okay a Vending machine that looks like it's selling uh, margaritas selling alcohol in the vending machine All right, oh Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Can I not go through here? It seems like I. It seems like I should be able to go through here. All right. Good. Good. I was hoping I didn't have to uh, do a 90 degree turn because I'm not really capable of doing that just yet. I haven't had the pro the proper instructions for this. So is this like cereal, like in big packages? Because it kind of looks like it. Uh, actually, you know what? It looks like more like cat food. It's like low pixel textured cat food. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Let me just let me just back this in. Let me just uh, put this in like this. And uh, there we go. One down. I think. Yes, one down. Another one to go. Just uh, another one to go. Corn flakes. A cereal aisle and also the cat aisle. Okay. Well, at least the music is changing now. Wait, is that that's a toilet paper? So that's the toilet paper aisle. All right. Oh, another. There must be like a construction site here where after the workers get off their duties, uh, they come here and shop at their nearest uh, Whole Goods, Whole Foods uh, department store right down the street, because they fly in their cars into the parking lot, because you can't just drive in, obviously, so they just kind of like, uh, they hover the cars into it. And that's how they get the job done. Also, why does this, like, truck just have, like, one thing? Of, uh, again, cat food, or something like that? Just has, like, one thing of it? 
Doesn't have anything else. Oh, this is dangerous. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a dangerous run here. All right, let's hope. Uh, let's hope I don't hit anybody. Luckily, I have a. What the hell? Luckily, I have a GPS here. Why is that guy just randomly there? Well, let me let me see if I can get a better grip on it. I can't. Okay. Okay, looks like it's gonna have to be done the hard way. Oh. Uh, come on, just, just turn, just turn. Ah, I got it. I, I got it, everyone. There's two freezer sections. Oh, this is the alcohol freezer section. Lots of alcohol here. I mean, there's a keg in there. It's just fucking kegs. Wow, there's sure is a lot of it. And I don't know what's going in there. There's just some random meats in there. Okay. Um. Alright, so I'm taking this turn up here. Excuse me. Not that anybody's in front of me, but I'm still gonna say it. Uh, for the sheer sake of being polite. Let me just, uh, let me put this bad boy in here. And see what, what uh, happens next. Should get a lot of points for this. Considering how much work I put into it. There we go. Alright. Nice, I fully completed the task. Ah. Alright, so this is literally the same thing I did in the other one. Alright, this is this is literally the same- Task 3 is literally the same as Task 1. Only this time I have to go in a different aisle. Alright, how about this? How about we, uh, how about we check out the other game? Well, there's a- there's a DLC for this game. Uh, it came out within the same time as the actual game came out. So it's, a, like, a $3 DLC, and it looks pretty interesting. So let's, uh, let's warp to that real quick. Alright, so as you can tell, this has a, uh, a different feel to it. I can't really put my finger onto uh, why this seems different than the other game's menu, but uh, just something about it. I think it's the it's the raindrops that are kind of uh, uh, defying physics here. They're just going they're like they're going upwards and stuff. Um, so this is called the Hell's Warehouse, and it's the DLC to Warehouse and Logistics Simulator. There's campaign mode, survival mode, and quest mode. We're gonna go ahead and do the campaign mode. That seems. Uh, it seems like the most possible one, I guess. Uh, and all the all the areas are unlocked. So last time we were in the department store. Uh, maybe this time we should do something else. Like um, I don't really know what would be a good location um, apart from the department store because I've already seen 79.5 too many times. I know all the owls by our heart. I could literally work at this place now. How about the the port area? There's an area I guess you could like kind of. Uh, uh, you, well, you have a diesel fork this time. You can kind of load bigger stuff up, so that seems pretty interesting. And let's just see what the concept behind this is now. So, Nightmare Campaign Mode. Go to the goal to escape the zombie invasion. Don't stop or their attacks will damage your forklift. Collect and use bonus items to make it more fun. Collect and use bonus items to make it more fun. It's not, it's not collect to survive, it's just, it's, you know, if you want, if you want to have fun. Just really. Try out to do, try out. Try to, to outdo your personal record and high score, have fun. So by the way, I've also realized that um, F1 actually tells you what the hell is going on. Um, so demolition bombs, if laid, trigger, fire, alarm. Uh, so these these actually, the ER and F keys weren't a part of the other one. Um, but uh, you can actually have different camera modes. So 1, 2, and 3 are these different camera modes. And then I can see some zombies down there. And there's no operator, so I'm, I'm literally a ghost again, which actually makes a lot of sense as to why uh, there are ghosts in the department store. It's because, well, I'm literally a ghost. Uh, so this, I think I'm gonna play in this mode just because I don't really like looking in the first person mode. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. I guess these zombies come at you now. So the world has been taken over by zombies and you have a forklift that you can kind of drive and mouse one button does, uh, Oh, okay, so now I have saws that I can sort of use to my advantage. That's that's pretty interesting. Um, okay, cut the zombies in, in millions of pieces. Let's actually look in first person mode. I'm kind of curious as to see how this actually looks like uh, with the zombies getting completely obliterated. Wow, they just they just explode. They explode upon impact. There's no. This is amazing. This is literally the most amazing DLC I think I can. This is almost as good as the Borderlands zombie DLC, and there's health here, I think? I don't know, I'm kind of afraid of forklifts now, because if, like, if you run into a forklift, and this is what it does to you, like, I want to stay way the hell back, and now those things, 
where they have the alarms and shit whenever a forklift drives by make a lot more sense to me. And oh no, what is that music? What the hell is that music about? Oh! Look at all those zombies! Oh my god, oh! What? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I kind of want to see what this area looked like before the zombies happened. Just in case there was like certain goals you had to achieve because now this game pretty much just says fuck it. You don't have to do any of that. Just like run over zombies. Excuse me while I zap you all with this battery. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, seems legit. Where the hell, which we, I think I have to go that way, I, that way is kind of blocked off, and that's just making me go around a circle. Alright, so the battery, uh, shocks the zombies till they explode. I literally don't even have to run into them, you just kind of get zapped and that's the end of that. Let me, let me see here, so, I can just kind of, uh, these are the shipment crates it looks like. At least I still have to do work. Let me just take my time, uh, excuse me, I gotta, I gotta put away this, this shipping crate. So if you guys don't mind me, can I drop it on them? Like, no, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. All right. What the? F Let me press the delete key. Yeah, there we go. I just want to drop this on them. Why is that? Oh, all right. They don't. Okay, they're super strong. They don't care if something drops on them. Um. Well, okay. I guess this one I can just kind of push. Maybe. Excuse me, zombies. I'm just. I'm just trying to leave this area. And I'm trying to get the East, East Trail something, cargo, East Trail cargo out of here. But they're all pushing on it, so it's making me, like, this is a lot harder. Okay, can you... I'm gonna push back. You're not gonna like it when I push back. Okay, apparently you're stronger than my forklift, so I... I wasn't really prepared for that. Alright. Alright, this has gone far enough. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, wait, nope. I can just do a reverse wheelie and get myself out of here. Perfect. So long, suckers. I'm out of here. Going almost four miles per hour. Now the trip mine should work. I just want to see how the trip mine works. Oh! By the way, this guy didn't even explode. He just kind of... I just kind of ran him over. <laughs> now, <laughs> oh, what? What? Get out of here. What the hell? You can't just do that. I can't just run you over and then you, you stand up. I mean, I get that you're already dead, but... What the f- Okay. I'm gonna grab myself a health kit. Ugh. I had a- I had a like- Okay, I couldn't grab it. It's too late now. It's too late to turn back now. I gotta keep going. There's a small- This guy's not dying! They're not dying anymore. They're just, uh... Oh! That one died. Wait, that guy just got cut in half. That's all that happened to him. He just got cut in half. What is going on? Oh, I got the buzzsaw again. I like- I do- I do say that I do like the buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is definitely a lot of fun, you just kinda like... They just kind of explode, their skeleton comes out of their skin. I mean, that's incredible. I- I'm not even sure how this is... How it's like, kinda being put on. Cause this looks like a lot of work went into putting this buzzsaw on, but... On my part, not so much, cause I just kinda had to like, run over it. There's something over there that looks like a GameCube game. I want to check out what that is. All right. Oh, come on. Yeah, what does this do? Oh, this is a bomb. This is a bomb. I'm not sure if this is forwards or backwards. So I think I'm gonna pull up like uh, towards those zombies up there and see if like what happens. Because I don't want to like put it forwards or something and have it not work. I actually want to see this thing utilized. And if it's backwards, well, I got that mob chasing me. So let me just uh. Let me just put it down here. Oh, it, okay. It actually does not just go down. It detonates. Oh! Okay. That's one way to do it. That's definitely one way to do it. I mean, these zombies have just completely taken over the shipyard. There's nothing we can do but drive a forklift. Police officers couldn't do anything. Tanks couldn't do anything. Uh, nobody could really do anything but a forklift Put that in the equation, and you got yourselves a deal. You got yourselves a, a genuine deal here. And what is this, a radio? What does a radio do? Oh, you got knocked out. Oh, this is, so this is the armed, uh, armed stuff, I think. Let me set that down and 
See if I can get some zombies going over here. I don't know how many I can blow up, but I'm definitely gonna try it. Oh, wow. Oh, what the hell is this? What is this, horde mode? All right, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna back it up. Let's see what happens. Oh, not as many as I thought would die, but again, I just kind of have to drive forward. Amazing. Really, literally amazing how many zombies you can just take out with a forklift. I think when there's a zombie invasion, I'm literally just going to grab a forklift and haul. I don't need food. I don't need anything. I can just drive a... Oh, shit. I can't pick up a portal potty. How did I not know this? Wow, he just fell apart. He just fell apart. He literally, he just fell apart. There's nothing, nothing else to say about that. He fell apart. His body was made out of butter. That was the end. What about this way? This doesn't seem like the right way. Uh, maybe, maybe it's this exit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's this exit. This seems like the, the, the probable one. Get my buzz saws going again. Cut them up. Why is there just random, um, like cars? Here? Oh, is this another horde mode? Oh no. Alright, I can take you guys on. Just, just form a straight line again for me, please, so I can just kind of drive you all in one maneuver. I mean, those zombies on the left are kind of stuck now. It seems like the dumpster has been their biggest opposition. Uh, so literally, instead of having two waves, that would be kind of hard to manage. I just have one here and then one over there. That's totally fine, though. My forklift does a lot of damage. I don't even need... Like, I don't even understand why I have those other tools to use when I just literally drive my forklift. That's that's it. I, like, what do I need the batteries for? Maybe I get more points? Oh, great. Another one of these. Alright. Well, I mean, it makes sense that there's just gonna be random crates here. Let's do this. Come on, forklift. Come on, forklift. I can push these crates. Alright, I think I did it. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't know if that's enough room. I guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, no, no. Oh, my goodness. This is not enough room to get by. Unless I just do this again. All right, that may be enough room. Okay, that's that's enough room. It's going to take a little bit of time picking this one up. This one's heavy. This one's got a lot of Dorito bags in it. I'm going to pick this up. No! Great. Oh, well, it disappeared. So that, that totally works. I hate that when that happens. When, when the crate just disappears after you pick it up. Holy shit. This, I've... It's... Ugh. Driving this forklift around has just become... My downfall, I think. I feel like there's no end in sight for, uh... For whatever's going on here. Um... I don't think this level ends. What is that? Is that another wave of, of zombies? That are coming out of literally nowhere. Literally, they're coming out of nowhere. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna drive like this. I'm just gonna drive through you. I'm gonna be on my way. I don't wanna deal with all you guys. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm guessing this way. I literally just wanna drive this for... You know what? Fuck this. I'm just driving this forklift up. Fuck it. Oh, no! I can't drive it off. I cannot drive it off. I have these things raised. I don't have them raised. Let me... Can I raise them? Can I drive backwards? No, I can't. Oh, I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. Oh. Knock your ass back. Oh, they're coming from this way now. Okay. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. They're coming from everywhere. There's a lot of them. There is there's a lot of them. No worries, though. The forklift doesn't stop for anybody. It's gonna keep going. I'm guessing this is the way to go now. I've successfully completed the task. I'll continue with the next task. There is no next task. Okay, I think I'm done. I put... <laughs> Alright. No, I mean, really, this was, this was really eye-opening to me. Forklift pretty much beats everything when it comes to a zombie apocalypse. That's what I've learned here today. That is what I have learned here today.